Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bring you another tying video this week. This week I'm going to tie you a caddis nymph. Um, cool looking pattern. It's inspired by a friend of mine from the tying shows, Safet Nikashevic. He's an awesome tire, does a lot of really realistic patterns, and does a lot of caddis patterns too. Um, one thing he uses where I got it, the inspiration behind this one, is he uses wash gloves. Just rubber latex wash gloves. You pick them up at the dollar store and uh, cuts them into strips. Just cut strips off of it. And we use this, he uses it for body material and for the back. Like I'm going to use this instead of like a thin skin or something so I can change the color of it easily. And I'm just going to use a Sharpie. I go, you know, like a holidays when they have the big craft packs or different colors of Sharpies. I usually try to pick one of them up if there's new colors in it. And I'm just going to draw on the back of it on the rubber to get the color I want so it doesn't bleed through the thread. Change the color, change the size on this as always. Here you're going to see a picture of a different color that I'm going to tie it in on the video. Um, mess around and experiment. The key to it is keep it thin. Check nymphs are very, very thin. and. Uh, that's one great thing about this pattern. You're using thread for the body, so that thread just keeps your patterns really thin and it's gonna sink quickly. You know, even without the tungsten bead, it's still gonna get down because it's gonna cut through the water quickly. So here you're gonna see a picture of the fly and then the material is to tie it. Okay, here you see the rubber back caddis in the vise. Cool looking fly. Pretty simple. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a fire hole 315. Um, this is a size 14. Tie it smaller, tie it larger, whatever you want there. For lead, I got 0.015. There's about 15 wraps of lead on there. And for thread, I'm going to start out with some 140 denier black thread. Just going to make a couple wraps in front and then a couple wraps behind there and cut off my tag. And then I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to put it back here on my um, material holder. And then I'm going to come in with some watery olive. This is 140 denier watery olive and I'm going to go right over that black thread. And this is the color I'm going to use. That black is going to be for a ribbing. And so I'm just going to cover up that lead. Get it all held in place and then we'll trim off the butt section. Next thing I'm going to do is use a little strip. This is about an eighth inch wide. You can cut a little thinner um, piece of a rubber glove that I showed you there at the beginning. And I'm just going to tie it down with the white side up, the bottom side of the glove up. The yellow top side is going to be down on the hook and then I'm going to stretch it back over the hook and wrap it clear back around the bend to get that nice caddis shape to it. And then I can let that go and I'm going to take my watery olive thread and I'm going to make a, a nice even wrapped body, nice smooth, nice transition up over that hook there. And then once I got that all nice and cleaned up and all the lead covered up like that, I'm going to come up and I'm going to put a little bit, I'm going to do the legs on this. For the legs I'm using some SLF Squirrel Dub. This is dark brown. And it doesn't take a whole lot. Just going to dub some of that on my thread there. And then create about a third of the body length there I want to be the head section. Just a touch more to wrap myself back forward. So I don't have any thread showing through. And then wrap back up to that eye and make the head there. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this rubber up over the top. Pulling it nice and tight. So I take out some of the width of it there. And then tie it off right behind the eye. Make three or four wraps. Come in. Trim that off. And then I'm going to tie this off here. We'll finish off with my watery olive. Cut it off. I'm done using the watery olive now and then I'm going to cut 
the remaining rubber off. Next thing then, I'm gonna come in with a marker. This one is a honey brown color, just, it's a Sharpie. I got a, at Walmart, got an assortment pack there. And I'm just gonna take this and cover up just the rubber on the back here. You can do different colors, change the color to create different color combinations. I like this honey brown. And I wanna make sure that the, this rubber that I'm using here stays on the top. So I'm just gonna tweak it around, get it where I want it there with my thumbnail. And then for the head, I'm just gonna take a black one. Come in, color that rubber on the top there with the black. And then I'm gonna take my 140 denier and I'm gonna give my thread a good spin here. I'm just gonna spin my bobbin to wrap that thread up tight so it makes so it doesn't lay flat as I wrap this around. And I'm just gonna create a nice rib, nice even rib up the body. Go through the head once or twice there, and then we whip finish it off. And then we're just gonna hit it with a little head cement and we're done. So now you can take your head cement here. I'm just using some solar res bone dry. You can just put it on the thread if you want and that would be fine. Or you can go up over the back, lock all that in so you don't rub it off and uh, lock your color in there. And then just hit it with your light. And that's all that's to this simple little caddis pattern. Very cool little pattern. You get that nice um, bicolor there look to it. You know, your darker top, lighter belly. Okay, guys, I hope you like that pattern. It's an easy pattern. And well, one thing I forgot at the very end there, I take my dubbing brush, just brush out the head on that fly to give it a little bit of a legginess to it. You know, pull some of that squirrel dub down to give it legs on the head of that and your fly is all done there. So very cool pattern, very simple pattern, easy to tie and um, it catches fish. Keep it thin, that's the key here. Change your color, change your sizes. Um, 14's a nice small size, hair not really on the big side, but you can definitely tie it smaller. It's going to catch a fish in my area. The caddis are a lot smaller, but uh, you know, tie it bigger and use it as a searching pattern and you'll catch fish on it that way too. So have fun tying, experiment with your colors and your sizes, like I always say, and uh, experiment with different materials like Safet coming up with using these wash gloves. It's a great back material. Um, Experiment with different things you have laying around the house. You never know what's going to work. That's what's fun about tying. So have fun, guys. If you have any questions, need any of the flies, you can reach out to me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. Or, you know, you can reach out to us at wholesingersflyshop.com for any of the materials you see in this video. Of course, except the rubber glove. You can pick that up at the dollar store. And uh, have fun. Until next week, when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.